Hello and welcome to the Vulcanoids gameplay tutorial for pre-alpha. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. The main goal. Main goal of the game is to silence the Vulcano by disabling enemy cog ships placed around the island. The number of enemy ships that still have to be deactivated is visible on the left top corner. To find the important locations, see the map by pressing M. All triangle icons mean an important location. Yellow triangles represent cog draw ships you have to reach and disable, while colored triangles represent location of technology components you need for upgrading your draw ship. A very basic version of this tutorial is also available through the F1 key in the game. Navigation To find out what's your current location, always check the HUD marker on your draw ship. The number tells you the landing site where your ship is parked. Now open the map again to see where you are and what the traveling options are. Traveling Let's travel to a better spot on the map. To order the ship to travel to a new landing site, set the number on autopilot, decide if you want to stay underground once reached or go directly to surface and press go. Ship will now pack and be on its way. If you don't want to watch the animations, you can always press escape or disable them in the options. During the travel time, you can walk around the ship, look up inventory and plan your next steps. Traveling limitations Once you decide to travel into other areas of the island, you'll find out that the draw ship is not able to do so. You have to first upgrade the draw ship and only then draw ship is able to reach landing sites in other areas. Eruption Draw ship's ability to go underground is not used only for traveling. When first earthquake happens and sirens go off, you have to run for your life and hide underground. Volcano erupts in frequent intervals and you have to make sure you are safe from the blast wave when that happens. Otherwise you get hit and the game is over. To hide quickly, just press the save me button as soon as you can. For those that are curious about what is happening on surface, use the periscope. Mining Let's get some materials so that we can start building and upgrading the draw ship. To equip the mining tool, press 2. Each area has multiple types of materials, some for powering the draw ship, other for production and research purposes. Every material has a location marker that helps player to spot spawn locations. Each time you see a large rock with a color, it means a specific type of ore spawns around. Lava pools on surface and inside caves spawn rare material used for complex devices. So make sure you visit the lava caves each time you run out, rather than trying to find some on the surface of the island. If a village or tech structure is nearby, it often has scrap material or even technology components around it. Production Now that we have the materials, we are going to return to the draw ship. Make sure you have no tool equipped by pressing the tilde key. Cargo Start with placing all the materials into a cargo module. Then make sure the module is opened and running by clicking on it with left mouse button or pressing the T key. Every open cargo module shares its inventory in so-called online cargo. That means you have access to all items from one place and don't have to remember where you place the items. This only works as long as the cargo module is opened. If you close it, the items are no longer visible in online cargo and control stations can't use it for production. Crafting Production of base materials, new modules and research always follows the same rules. Every module or control station uses online cargo and if items are not available they can't produce anything. This means you have to make sure that cargo modules are opened as well while production is running. Modules placed on the side of the ship work as devices doing the job given by control stations. The more modules of a kind, the faster production goes. Also, the more control stations, the more items can be produced in the same time. Each type of production has its own modules and own control stations. Refinery is marked with red color and makes ingots from raw materials. Research is marked with green color and uses technology components to produce upgrades for the draw ship. Production is marked with blue color and makes everything from basic components to new modules. Each time the same rule applies. If you want to do a production, modules of that specific type must be opened. Here is an example. You have production module opened and production station active. 
while the refinery control station is not working because no refinery module is opened. Drawship stats. When production is active, you have to make sure you have enough energy and that ship core can handle the amount of opened modules. Check the core stats panel once in a while to make sure you are in green numbers. If you run out of energy, all production stops and waits until energy is produced. The balance indicator tells you if the required energy is higher than produced or if there is a balance in the consumption. The core slots, on the other hand, represent how many modules can be opened in the same time. Each module has different slot count and you have to find the ideal group of opened modules for specific purposes. Module layouts. Since you need to react fast and open groups of modules as needed, there are state saver devices allowing you to save or load specific group of open modules. To make a group, just walk around the ship and open only modules belonging to the group. Then click the save button on a state selector to create the group. From now on, click the load button each time you need to activate the modules. For example, you have refinery layout with open refinery module, cargo module and power plant module. Then you have layout only for quick energy production with cargo module and three power plant modules. If you want a group to be automatically active each time drawship lands somewhere, check the is default option. Upgrades. Now let's upgrade the drawship so that we can produce new items or travel to different areas. Upgrade items are obtained by researching technology items in Research Control Station. As mentioned before, you find these technology items in areas with red, green or blue triangles marked on the map. Each time you produce an upgrade, you have to place it into the ship's core in order to activate it. You can get to the ship's core menu from any inventory screen inside the drawship. Once there, you can drag and drop upgrades into the screen they will place itself automatically to the correct slots. In order to travel to different areas, the drill, tracks and hull must have the same level as the area you are traveling to. Building Finally, we got to a point where we produce our first module and can place it on the drawship. Equip the build tool by pressing 1 and make sure you have the items in character's inventory. We are going to place the side module, which means we have to look at the side wall and keep scrolling the mouse wheel until module shows up. Click the left mouse button to place. Use right mouse button to remove objects if needed, but removed objects are destroyed. You can build several types of objects, where each has its specific placement. Check the small pictogram icon, it will tell you how the object is placed. Cog wheel means it's a module that is placed on the side or top of the drawship. Box-like icon means it's a furniture device and can be placed anywhere on the floor of the drawship, including the upper floors. White square means a construction and has to be placed in frames. In general, walls have to be placed in vertical while floors in horizontal frames. Be sure you are placing the up wall into the top frames while down wall into bottom frames. Each time you want to select different object of a type, keep looking at the desired placement and scroll the mouse wheel. That's all for now, hope you found this tutorial useful and informative. Please if you have any suggestions or comments on anything inside the game or the tutorials, use the send feedback button from the main menu. We want to make this game as good as possible and your feedback will help us a great deal. Thank you for watching and hope you will enjoy the game.